this round, the unit is even bigger, uh, stack 6. However, the customer didn't really give me uh, the date of birth. The community member shared with me that uh, uh, this, uh, is, he's looking at uh, Park Clementi's uh, stack 6. Uh, of course, what you can see right now, if I just, just to expand the screen, is that you can see that stack 6 is definitely way bigger than uh, first very key thing the bigger the home means the more space more space means uh, able much able to uh, design the interior but definitely uh, first thing since uh, it has been some time after uh, covid right right now is uh, today is the 18th december 2022 so back on the 3rd uh, december i went down to take a uh, site assessment because you just want to know the contours of the land what you can see right now on the ipad is that uh, we just zoom in into this purple circle here's the part where i'll insert the video right where i was walking down so so to come and walk and assess the grounds of uh park clematis because i wanted to help this uh home i think it's a homeowner right uh stack i think stack six and I also wanted to come and see the landforms. So definitely, uh, walking down this stretch, right, uh, on the left side, so which is actually the north, the northwest. Uh, there's a little bit of higher grounds, but after that, subsequently, uh, I think it's always the Singapore land contours that has always been flattened. So the only presence of higher ground is definitely at the northwest. So I just wanted to use this piece of information because uh, for Feng Shui. Uh, we need to assess the landforms first before uh, talking about all the formulas. So that's why I wanted to document down in this video and continue to watch if you uh, want to see uh, subsequently how do I do the uh, so-called the formulas uh, for park climates. So in this purple circle, as you can see that uh, from the video that you, there are landed homes. It's on a high, it's a bit on a higher ground. So I walked out from there and now the higher ground towards northwest is definitely that side going forward. So what we want to see is that uh, before we can design the interior, we want to make sure that the exterior right it has all the necessary components so we can see that uh, at the north at the northwest uh, of the whole development for park amenities, there's a higher ground. And in fact, within the development itself, there's also the water body. Uh, one thing I, I wanted to do in that uh, ground assessment is also to understand where uh, would the building facing be, because that's going to determine the uh, the kind of interior design, right? Based on the Shenkong Flying Star Schools. Uh, my hunch is uh, for now uh, it's going to face towards the north right because uh, coincidentally um, during one of the dinner celebrations with my brother so i just happened to ask about hey where do they think that they're going to face and they were and his reply was he feels that his, his the whole development is meant to face uh, the bukitima which is actually uh, up north right the key thing is that I guess uh, for this uh, Shinkong Flying Stars NATO chart which helps us with the interior design, uh, we will do that again or I'll revisit, revisit that again when, uh, when the development is at, uh, has been developed much better further. Uh, right now I think it's built around 20, uh, around 20 stories but the facade, those kind of uh, actual design hasn't really been fully up. So uh, I just go on with the next, uh, with the next uh, design, which is actually using the night boxes. Uh, the only key thing, uh, key concern that I have is actually at the at the northeast side because right now you can see that uh, within this plan, right, uh, it's kind of interesting that homes are being built in this manner right now, where there's at the northeast side, this northwest, northeast. Let me see if I can turn on the pen. Ah, you turn on where the pen right this part here you know uh, 
there's this so-called missing sector, right? Because there's a there's a block down there. So uh, because the customer didn't really provide the date of birth, right? So then it's gonna be uh, this video is just gonna be like a half analysis. But right now, these homes, most homes are always built in this in this fashion. However, uh, does that mean that we shouldn't stay in this home? No, because uh, there will always be uh, physical uh, physical reality constraints, right? Thus, next part will be uh, actually utilizing the 24 mountains because once the customer has provided the date of birth, right? Who is going to be the home occupant? You roughly can design, be it whether it's a family, a single stay, you'll be able to you know, based on where they are at their life journey, be it whether is it like studying, they are working, you know, then will be better able to uh, position their, be it whether the working desk, the place that they sleep, right, uh, the place where the family com uh, uh, gathers, you know, the place where they cook. So with these 24 mountains, uh, the customer will be able to specialize for themselves if the customer uh, is watching this video or in fact uh, if you have a unit in Park Clematis um, I'm just testing out this new concept where we're thinking like thinking of like creating an NFT that's for the Park Clematis and uh, holders of this uh, Park Clematis NFT right this first uh, we are, I'm not related to the developer, right? This is really something for myself to test the concept of NFTs. Uh, if you happen to be a Park Clematis uh, owner, uh, you can go to... I'll provide the link in the video description below. Uh, it brings you to OpenSea and uh, there will be some utilities uh, tagged to this NFT and I hope that you like it. So if you have a development in mind, and you'd like me to take a look of course i do have my own list uh, you can drop that in the comments below and i'll invest some time to look at it look at them uh, i'll catch you in the next one